Fake meat is a real concern for the beef industry and an issue we need to be watching very closely. We asked some cattle industry leaders to share their thoughts on this subject. Number one, we have to talk about the plant-based meat, the, the stuff that's already on the market. We've had plant-based burgers for many years, but, but this recently they're really getting a lot of, uh, I call it halo effect from the mainstream media. They're pulling sustainability and they're making sustainability claims. So we're working hard to push back and say, you know, beef is sustainable and it's a whole lot cleaner label than an impossible burger, which has maybe 22 to 26 ingredients. And we have one, beef. We're all about consumers having a choice. We want to make that clear. We think if they're given that choice, and given correct information, truthful information, they're gonna choose American beef more often than not. But at the same time, we do wanna make sure, like with any other food product, that the fake meat type material, subject to the same inspections, same health considerations, uh, the same safety considerations, the same regulatory scheme that we are, and most particularly, the, the, having the right inspection program at the same time having the right labeling. Honest, accurate labeling is what we're all about. We've had some good success with USDA and FDA in terms of how the product is going to be administered, how it's going to be supervised. Um, you know, and part of that, part of the fake meat, that's a bigger than just uh, a soy-based or something like that. It also has to do with uh, lab-based uh, uh, meats or, or cell-based uh, technology. So there's a lot of things coming up there, and your policy can't just be um, based on the, on the soybean-related products. It's got to be related to all facets of fake meat. And I, as long as the public identifies it as fake meat, maybe we've done our job.